Hello Prim friends. Well it's Friday evening and I'm going to have this uploaded for you by tomorrow morning. Um, there is a really phenomenal sale coming up at noon today, Saturday, February 17th, that I really did not want um, those of you who might be interested in it to miss. And it is online. Um, if you are at all familiar with the uh, artist Tasha Tudor, you'll want to listen to the rest of this video and I'll give you some more details about a really interesting sale that again is happening at noon um, Saturday February 17th and it is online so if you're like me and you're interested in all of the gardens and um, seed starting and the cottage garden and all of that then you'll definitely want to know about this uh, really interesting sale that's coming up but anyway, while uh, in the middle of December, I flew out to Albuquerque, New Mexico to meet my son, uh, who had just completed eight years of service in the Air Force and is now joining the ranks of the civilian world. But I didn't want him to drive home that three days by himself uh, with, his new with his vehicle. So I flew out and then the two of us drove back to Ohio. Well, on the plane, on my way out, I had chosen this book to kind of keep me occupied for the, for the flight. And I knew that on our trip back from Albuquerque to Ohio, a stop almost right in the middle of our time was at the Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Store. And um, this video might be a little bit different. It's not really about antique furniture or accessories, but it is about the preservation of something really important, and that is our heirloom seeds. Now, some people might say, well, what's the difference in the taste, or what is the reason for an heirloom seed versus, you know, a regular kind of a tomato seed or any of the others? Well, if you think about it, one of the things that's really important to um, produce places or, or shops is the ability to ship and store for a long period of time their produce. And so a lot of the research and development and breeding has gone into creating produce that can be shelf stable for a long time. Now often when you breed something like that in, there are some other things that are going to be lost. And in many cases, What's lost is flavor. So that's one of the things that when you can get uh, heirloom seeds and um, raise those plants, that's a great benefit and bonus. The other nice thing about the heirloom seeds very often is that you can save the seeds from that produce, whatever that would be, a tomato or uh, something else, and then plant those seeds again next year. So you'll continue that heirloom variety on for more generations. But anyway, while I was on my flight, this book is the one that I chose to take with me. And it's the Shaker Herb and Garden Book. And I can't recommend it enough. It's wonderful. I found it on eBay, actually. And uh, one of the things that I found really interesting and kind of ironic is that it specifically talks about um, in the shaker world how they recommended uh, gardens to be placed on the property. And um, choosing a garden site specifically. And they say that in choosing the site for the garden, the spot should be of even land, slightly inclining to the south, or the east and having the full benefit of the sun is to be preferred. It should be situated near the dwelling and it's so funny because the location that we have chosen for a raised garden um, right off the side porch which is actually our main entrance um, in the Cape is facing south slightly inclined and of course, close proximity to the house. 
So I thought that was really interesting. And while in flight, um, I kept kind of writing down a list of all the different um, plants that I would be looking for, or the seeds actually, when I would be at Baker Creek. And so things like sage, summer savory, sweet marjoram, thyme, basil, lemon basil, dill, fennel, coriander, and more. And so I'm gonna take you with me now to um, our trip coming from Albuquerque and um, the, our visit to Baker Creek Seeds. You'll meet my son sharing one of their absolutely amazing uh, cinnamon rolls that they are famous for. So come along with me and at the end of this video I'll be sure to let you know about that amazing sale that starts at noon Eastern Time today. So make sure that you watch to the end of the video. Hello, Prim friends. So I'm taking you now to a place that's a little bit different. This is Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. And right now I'm in a room that they call their apothecary. And there are loads of dried herbs, dried teas. If I wish we had smell-o-vision because you just cannot imagine how amazing this little part of the shop area smells and up on top are all these wonderful vintage bottles and then every kind and flavor and scent of herbs um, dandelion root uh, green tea activated hardwood charcoal there's an herbal bath mix elderberry syrup here just all kinds of amazing scents. And then these wonderful, wonderful um, soaps as well. And I'll take you uh, on a quick tour also inside the seed room, which we have a flower farm. And um, my intention this year is also to get really, um, get our herb garden really going, our kitchen garden. And it will have very much of a shaker, theme. Um, I'll show you a book that I picked up and that that will be something that I'm really pushing um, for at the Cape on the Corner. So keep watching. I am uh, Baker Creek Seeds is actually in Missouri, in Mansfield, Missouri, Town and all of these incredible things that our seeds are also something that we really need to protect and hold on to and this is one of those kind of places that um, help us do that they do have cow peas so if you like that look of the dried cow peas that's something that you can get here the early type and of corns um, 
just all kinds of things that are historic. These are things that a hundred years ago, 500 years ago, some things even that were found in uh, the caves in the early days. So keep watching. I'll show you this amazing little historic uh, reproduction town here in just a few minutes. These are all in ground beds with this concrete all surrounding it. How amazing. Now my understanding here in Missouri is there is a lot of rock um, pretty close to below the surface of the of this soil so maybe that is what they are avoiding by putting these small beds surrounded with all this concrete that is just amazing okay we are in the flower building right now waiting on a couple of cinnamon rolls to get frosted such a just an adorable place they have festivals here um, early in the spring when the tulips when the tulips bloom and then also in the fall all these historic looking clothing Ben's extra large pioneer shirt Ooh, I may have a use for that. There's a loom over here for the hand hand loomed rugs. Got a big loom right, right. here. Right, and now we are in. Baker's flour mill, and again, I wish I could, we would have smell a vision here. Check out these cinnamon rolls. My son and I have one of those for each of us for the ride home. And they are also known for these amazing sourdough breads, which just reminds me, they are also known for a really wonderful sourdough, a dry sourdough starter. And I want to make sure that I get some of that to bring home because I am not the best bread baker. I have, I can make good crust, but there's sometimes hollow in the middle. So we want to make sure we get one of those to go as well. All right, cinnamon roll from the Baker Creek Seed Company. This is easily one of the best cinnamon rolls I've ever eaten in my life. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Better than the orange rolls I'd always make? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Well, you're gonna, Missouri's kind of a long drive for so. Not coming back, but yeah, <laughs> I, it, I would almost drive here just for this. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe we'll come back for the fall festival next year. That'd you can fun. come with me. All right, cool. Awesome. Okay, so here is oh my goodness, this is like falling in a honey hole here. Look at all these giant elephant garlic. Just a few of those left. Here's some seed just some historic things here as well just such a fun wonderful place to stop I don't think I made it here to those those uh, essential oils but again all of these things here are you can order online um, the seeds if I remember correctly there is no charge for shipping for those just really a fun fun place to visit but you know the nice thing is that this is most especially a way of conserving these heirloom seeds these traits of some of the early things that we just don't want to have lost in history they're just too important to our food stuff. Um, you know, one of the things that you miss with the current um, methods and seeds that you can buy that aren't heirloom is you lose the flavor. Because at that time, one of the most important things 
that they're trying to do is maintain uh, shelf life, the storage life, and the ability to ship things. And you know, if we're growing these things in our own backyards, in our own gardens, our ability to ship and the storage is of very, very little importance. What we want is the flavor. And the flavor you get in these heirloom varieties. So cow peas, if you are interested in those, those hanging cow peas, all of those kind of things are here. These early, here we go, right there. The purple hull, pink eye cow peas. We'll go down in the back area here real quick. Again, more of this historic, how the seeds were were saved and stored in these little jars. I have several that I sold several years ago that were like in these type of jars. All different varieties, handwritten on the outside of the cork with the variety of seed that was inside. And then um, hung as a little necklace. I just want to work in my garden and hang out with my chickens. More of the bulk herbs and fun kitchen products. So I hope you check them out. They're online. I'll make sure to link it in the description. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment. And make sure you watch to the end. Well, I hope you enjoyed that visit to Baker Creek and uh, the, my reunion with my son. So what an amazing three-day trip. Um, we had that fantastic meal in Oklahoma City. We had the lamb fries, but, you know, just we just really enjoyed the trip. Lots of laughing, lots of talking, and... Uh, yeah, so glad he's home. So the sale that I wanted to tell you about is um, it's online and the Tasha Tudor family, it's actually on their website. It's called Tasha Tudor and Family, if I remember correctly. Um, but every year around this time, they offer seeds from Tasha Tudor's amazing gardens in New England. Um, depending on the weather, uh, we'll determine which seeds they might have available. Uh, they did say online that their 2023 was a particularly wet season, wet year. And so a lot of the seeds that they normally would have, they either can't even offer at all, or they're offering again in very limited quantity. The nice thing also about their seed packets is that they do have different artwork on the front of them that were all, you know, elements of Tasha Tudor's amazing artwork. So like her, her incredible drawings in uh, Child's Garden of Verses, which was one of my very favorites as a child, the, the um, poetry all by Robert Louis Stevenson. I can remember every night going to bed sometimes having the flashlight under my covers so that I could just read and read and read these beautiful, this beautiful poetry and uh, this beautiful artwork that she had created. So this year though, what's interesting about 2024's seed offering, although there are some that they won't have, they are offering a few new ones that they say they haven't offered since 2000 and I think 12. One of those is called verbascum, another is primrose, and then uh, also meadow uh, rue. So all of those things are gonna be available also. Sometimes their sales of their seeds will sell out in two hours. So they will offer things like uh, their hollyhock, columbine, sweet sicily, foxglove, um, what else? They had a lettuce poppy, lupine, the sweet Cecily I mentioned, foxglove, columbine, bellflower, forget-me-nots, all of those kind of really traditional cottage garden uh, seeds, flowers that you would imagine um, 
being in a cottage garden. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and edit this video quick and get it loaded so that hopefully, hopefully, uh, you guys will enjoy getting some of these really precious uh, seeds from the garden, right from the garden of Tasha Tudor. So take care, everybody, and we'll see you in the next one.